Back in 2020, if you had asked me for my prediction of Game of the Year, I would have said Cyberpunk, easy question, what's next? If I was before I played Hades, before I found out that Hades is an absolute masterpiece. If you're just here for my opinions on Cyberpunk, I do have a video on that, which will be down in the description below and linked in the card. But if you're here for my opinions on Hades, or here to try to find out if you should buy or play Hades, then I can answer that in a simple word. Yes. Yes, you should buy Hades. What initially drew me to Hades was the fact that so many people kept recommending it glowingly, and the fact that I'd had fun with Bastion, Supergiant's lesser known but still very charming game with amazing narration. What kept me playing Hades for over 100 runs was some of the best character writing in any video game to date. Hades is a great experience for beginners and veterans of the genre alike, and I especially love how Zagreus is written both as a main character and for his own personality. He has lots of reasons to be bitter towards his father Hades, but he doesn't let hatred consume him. Instead, he's casually sarcastic, while at the same time showing profound respect to those around him. He's kind of that slightly sassier, more sarcastic version of you that you wish you could be whenever you hear that little voice in your head that says, you should have said that, but you don't because you know it would sound terrible if you actually tried. And as a result, I couldn't think of a better main character for a game about self-discovery, self-improvement, and forgiveness. Now, this video took a lot of time and a lot of work to make. When I first reviewed Hades on my main channel during Early Access, I was always unsatisfied. I didn't feel I had done the game justice, and it's taken a lot of time to rectify that. So I'd very much appreciate if you do find this helpful to leave a like, let me know down in the comments below, and if you want to support me more directly, you can do so via my Patreon, which will also be down in the description. And if you want, you could even sponsor a video and have your name said right about now. Now, Supergiant as a company is known for having really good gameplay. And my favorite thing about Hades is it's a difficult game. It offers you simple controls, a basic attack which can be comboed, a weapon special, a dash to avoid damage which has iframes, a cast which allows you to deal range damage and has a regenerating cooldown, then your call and chthonic companions which are two different versions of ultimates. One charges up as you fight, and the other has a limited number of uses throughout your entire run. Each of these can be powered up by making deals with the different Olympians, gathering boons of the enigmatic Daedalus, or sacrificing some of your life to go speak with Chaos. Whenever you accept a boon, you're drawing power from one of the Olympians. Athena will allow you to deflect enemy attacks. Poseidon pushes foes away with the might of the ocean. And in this way, the abilities are both thematic, so you always know what you're getting by the god you chose, while still giving you an expansive toolkit to deal with enemies in a way that feels natural to you. Hades is a challenging game, but it also always feels very fair. Enemies and bosses have clearly telegraphed animations. It's very easy to see the dangerous parts at a glance because they're a vibrant purple-pink color. After you've got a few runs under your belt, you can start turning up the heat, which makes the game more challenging while also giving you refreshed rewards. Though really, the only reward you'll probably need are the snippets of story you unlock as you progress from run to run, but we'll get into that a little bit more later. When selecting things from a Pact of Punishment, be sure to choose your mods wisely, or you'll end up with a quick trip home. But even when you're at your lowest, after failing a run, the people of the House of Hades who have your back are there to encourage you through encouraging Zagreus. As a roguelite, Hades isn't about beating the game once, it's about beating the game many times, and the main driving force to do this is the game's story. Every time you encounter a character, you'll be given a little snippet of dialogue in the form of a short conversation between them and Zagreus. Some of these are quite one-sided, although they feel alive and vibrant nonetheless. It's a flash of insight into the life of the game's incredibly diverse and divine cast. Supergiant has always done an amazing job with their soundtrack and their narration. The interplay of a boy and the narrator in Bastion was nothing short of masterful, but in Hades they really outdid themselves. There's dozens of characters, each have their own strikingly vibrant personalities. Every time I beat a run, or even when I lost, I've always been excited to return and talk to the members of the House of Hades. I want to learn more about Thanatos, why he's so cool and distant. I found Hypnos to be endearing, despite being a little bit annoying, and I'd do anything to protect Dusa. At the end of the day, Hades is a game about self-improvement. It's about growth, kindness, and forgiveness. So these themes are woven throughout each of the character stories, which you'll be able to explore along with the game's overarching plot. And here's just a little snippet of that. Goodbye for now. Now, the game's soundtrack provides a pulse-pounding background to all the action, and I wouldn't blame you if you left the game open just to hear the music one more time. The River Crossing theme which is playing right now, in particular, reminds me of one of my favorite tracks from Bastion. 
The game's graphical style is perfect. It's bold, it's bright, it's in your face and unapologetic. It doesn't look realistic, and in doing so, is more real to itself than most other games. Graphics usually aren't a big deal for me either way, because if you play enough games, they often start to look the same. And yet, despite that, Hades stood out. Gaming is often a way to escape from the stress of everyday life, a creative outlet, a way to turn your brain off, or an avenue to learn something new and feel good about your achievement. But sometimes, a game transcends all of that. It pushes you to reflect and has a lasting impact. And for me, Hades is one of those games. Now, to answer the question that I already answered in the intro. Should you play Hades? Yes, absolutely. I truly cannot recommend this game enough. The characters are compelling. They're also one of the most naturally diverse casts that I've ever seen. If you just want to fight, the gameplay is smoother than Zagreus and more polished than Skelly's head. Hades has truly set a new standard for roguelike games and set my standards for Supergiant's next title absurdly high. I've done over 100 runs and I've played the game for over 100 hours, but each time I play, it feels fresh, it feels new, and it feels exciting. I've played the game since early access and it's quickly become my go-to recommendation whenever someone is looking for something new to play. In fact, I've even gotten a few real life friends into the game despite them not being heavy gamers. What about you? What games have you found that have made a lasting impact on your life? And what games can you come back to again and again and still never have them get old? I'd love to hear some of your favorite games down in the comments below. And if you do end up purchasing Hades and you're looking for some tips and tricks in your early runs, I'm going to be making a video on that in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. And again, a special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. If you want to support me, you can do so by clicking the links down in the description below or on screen right now. You can also support by making purchases through my Nexus page. Or if you just want to chill and hang out, be sure to join the Discord. Again, links for everything are down in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.